Well, hey, howdy, Brother Herb. <coughs> we got this guy all finished up. Uh, let me tell you what we did and where we're at. Um, you know, when we got it, it had some issues. It had a big dent in the font, a bunch of stress cracks. There are a number of dents and creases in the shade. A bunch of uh, little dents and issues, creases in the vent cap. A little bit of trouble on the uh, collar here. Uh, a big crease in the globe rest. I got just about everything massaged out and nice and smooth, buff smooth and all that. Uh, so it looks pretty good. I stripped off all the original nickel. Gave it a, a copper base coat, plated copper base coat and gave it all a fresh uh, nickel plate. So it's looking nice and bright and shiny. The only thing that I wasn't 100% happy with was there's one spot here where they had the big dent. I was not able to pull the dent completely out. So I filled the rest in with pewter and plated over that. And there's just a little bit of a murmur in the plating. Unless you're looking for it, you can't see it. But if you look for it, you can tell that something happened here. But it's not real obvious. Um, so anyway, I, it's looking really, really nice. I had to cast a new top loop for you. Um, in the process, I replaced all of the screws in the top here. These are exact same size as original. But the original ones were so <clears throat> stuck in there that I couldn't get them out without mutilating the, the slots. So I got them out and I put fresh screws in. So they look nice and nice, nice and new. Um, I had to disassemble this entire thing to plate it. And it's, it's a real science project to get this thing apart. Got to take the clips out. Got to take these clips out. There's all together, there's about 28 parts to make this thing go. So it's pretty labor intensive to take it apart and get it back together. But we did and it looks good. I got a uh, reproduction mica shade. Rob Butts makes these and they're exactly like the original. They're very nice. <clears throat> Our pal Fred Kuntz used to make them. Fred's kind of backing out of making mica shades. Um, Rob started taking over for him. He makes real nice shades, so I got the shade from, <coughs> pardon me, from Rob. <coughs> On your burner unit, um, I took it all apart. I stripped off all the old tarnish. The, the air tube, I took that down and nickel plated that. On the mixing chamber and the burner tubes, I didn't plate those. They weren't plated on the original. I just buffed those out. One thing though, that generator, that repro generator you sent me, was a tiny bit shorter than the original. So when I put it all together, the burner did not go all the way up into the air tube. So what I did was I just Put a little washer in here so that the manifold sat like an eighth of an inch lower and that took care of it so we're okay there now when i do the test burn i'm going to put the vent cone in i didn't put it in for the video just so you could see that but the vent cone you got to take the generator out put the vent cone in then put your generator in Okay, the globe rest had that real significant dent and crease in it. I got the worst of that out. I don't know if you can see a little bit of a texture still left in it, but we're okay on that. The collar came out really, really nice. Bottom looks nice and original. So I think it came out really, really well. I'm pleased with this. Um, tomorrow I'm putting the vent coat on, putting fresh mantles on um, 
As far as the stress cracks, I did the best I could to cosmetically hide them. They're still, you can still see them if you look for them, but they don't just jump out at you. I caswelled the tank. I gave it two coats of caswell, so it's good and solid. I pressure tested it, and it really holds well. So tomorrow I'm going to do the test burn. I'm going to do the final assembly, do the test burn. I won't do another video of it burning, but I'll send you pictures. When it cools off, I'll wrap it up and send it out to you. I'll invoice you on it. Um, not much in material cost. This is a big material cost. That's like 65 bucks. Mostly labor. I got a little over 30 hours of labor in it. So I appreciate you letting me work on this project for you. Um, I think your son is really going to like it. I think you're going to be pleased with it too. So anyway, that's it. May the Lord bless and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. And be gracious unto you and give you peace. Thank you, brother. Bye.